So I'm a little late to the game, but I'm obsessed with the strawberry dress. Who isn't at this point? If you have TikTok, if you watch a lot of YouTube and you like the color pink, there's a really good chance that you have seen Larika Matoshi's strawberry dress. I hope I said her name right. I tried to figure out a way to figure out how to say it right, Larika, but I'm pretty sure that's it, I hope. If it's wrong, I don't know how to say it. It has gotten so much press. It went viral on TikTok and then got featured in pretty much every major news publication. It's in Vogue, it's in the New York Times, and a ton of people have been making YouTube videos about this dress and I wanted to make one too. And I figured, would it really be a video on my channel if I didn't paint the strawberry dress with Himimiya jelly gouache? I mean, it's on brand. If you aren't familiar with the dress, there are numerous photos of people in it. They're adorable. The dress is adorable. Everything that Lurika Matoshi makes is in this very cutesy cottagecore style. The dress itself is $490, so it is way out of my budget. And it's also not something I would really wear personally, but it is something that I love and I want to commemorate in painting format. I also just want to throw up some notable favorites from her website of other dresses that Larika Matoshi makes. I personally love the Pink Skies dress and the Princess Bow dress. I think these are adorable and ridiculous. It's all very couture, runway, ridiculousness, but you know what? It looks great on camera. I also found out today that the dress also comes in black, but we have to keep with the true theme of the dress, which is the pink. And she also made a matching face mask to go with it, which I definitely am gonna try to incorporate into this painting. Before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Sophia Metropolis. I'm an artist. I've been doing a lot of Himimiya gouache paintings on this channel specifically, but I do make other content. But if you really like the Himimiya gouache and you wanna check out more videos like that, you can check them out up there. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. We are growing this channel, making art. I try all sorts of new art things on Wednesdays and Fridays. And sometimes I do things that I've done before. Let's get started. Have my coffee. Major important step for this entire process. Let's review the materials that I'll be using today. First, I obviously have coffee, cold brew coffee in a hot mug with Oatly Barista. Very exciting. That's not important equipment to you, but it is very important to me. <laughs> I'm gonna be using, obviously, as mentioned, the Himimiya Jelly Gouache Set. If you've never seen me open this up before, what are you doing? I got so many videos opening this up. This is what we're working with. This is what we got. Beautiful. Part of the reason I like this dress is because it is kind of my most used colors, which in this palette specifically are the pink and the white. But I think I'm gonna make some pink with the red and the white as well. And we'll obviously have some greens in there for the strawberries themselves. It's gonna be very exciting. I'm not gonna be using the palette that comes with the Himi gouache set because I personally don't like it. It scratches when you use a palette knife and I don't like the ridges, it confines me too much. So I'm using my trusty and favorite Masonite palette by Weber. It's available on the link in the description if you feel like you need one too. It does stain a little bit, but, and I dropped it once recently and I kinda popped a little corner off, but we're doing okay still. I've had it for several years. She holds up great, cleans off great. And then as far as paper, I'm using Canson mixed media paper, which is gonna be 98 pounds. So it's a little light for wet medium, but that's okay by me. And it's little. What size is it? Five and a half by eight and a half. So it is going to be a little painting. I also have a palette knife and the brushes I'll be using are coming from my bucket of synthetic brushes that I get at craft stores. I kind of just pick up whichever one. I usually am not too picky. These are all just soft bristled brushes. Pretty much pick up any set of brushes and you'll get exactly this. But there are some links in the description if you want the actual exact ones that I use. Then that's cool too. I need a pencil. If you can hear my computer fan right now, I'm really sorry. She's cooling herself down, I guess. I'm just gonna get started on some sketches and we'll see. Cue the time lapse. I hate it already. Angles 
and bring in my water to paint. But real quick lesson, in case you didn't know this, um, coffee and paint water, or tea, whatever your drink of choice is, and paint water, never should be next to each other, because you will inevitably put the paintbrush in your drink. So that's going back there safely, and we're gonna get started. I mean, we've gotten started, but we're gonna continue. <sighs> I'm not in love with it. Surprise. I should make a video about how I reactivate. Actually, that's a great idea. Just make a whole ass video about that. I'll do that after this. All right, I'm gonna find my reference image. Let's just get, get her done. You gotta look at this. You gotta see this. Let's mix some red. Where's my pipette? Who is she without her pipette? I wanna make a really, really light pink. This first brush is a royal and lang nickel. I'm kind of going for the approach of a flat wash and then I'm gonna build up shadows and such from there. including this large 28 ounce water bottle that I bought with my credit card points. Back to work. Hydrate. Okay. At this point in the painting process, I had already laid down my base color and a little bit of my shadows and I thought I was ready to start adding in those sweet baby strawberries <laughs> so here we are adding in the strawberries some of them get kind of cut off and i feel like once i started to add these strawberries in you really start to see the piece come together because so much of the kind of striking quality of the dress is the fact that it's covered in all these strawberries these were really fun and satisfying to paint and then i went in with all my little green highlights and i did do tiny little highlights for the green tops and for the strawberries themselves just because they're like glittery rhinestone on the dress itself so I wanted to kind of reflect that please don't come at me for this arm and hand uh, it still makes me mad now that I'm editing and it made me mad that day and I'm sorry anyway so I wanted to do a background that was like a little bit contrasting so I put in this green which was not quite the color I wanted and it wasn't really like matching the rest of the piece so then I switched to a lighter green and I made a little bit of a lighter green and I just covered it up which is wow I love gouache look how beautiful amazing that it does that and then I did something that I like to do in a lot of my sketchbooks which is just kind of put some stripes in it's not really a background at all but I often reach this point in the painting where I think it looks good not amazing and the thing that my brain tells me to do is outline it in black marker and usually that's a make or break moment so if it doesn't look cool thanks so much for watching this is the end of the video if it does look cool just you wait and see for how cool it's gonna look I have high hopes I'm a, is that the wrong choice I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna do it if I ruin it I'm sorry if not who cares? It's in my sketchbook. It's just a sketch. It's a loose one. Let's go back to it. Oh, don't look. I'm watching Below Deck. Don't look. <laughs> okay, that is it for this video. I'm so happy I did the outline. I always second guess myself with that outline because sometimes I'm like, is it going to make it worse? Is it going to make it too cartoony? But I feel like in this case, it really polished it off. It really finished it off. 
here's the final look. Here's what the final painting looked like. I hope you enjoyed this little paint with me session for the strawberry dress that we all love to love. Using the internet's favorite paint to paint the internet's favorite dress. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sophia Metropolis and I will see you in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!